Hey, God bless you, my friend and sister Sharon. And today, I want to give you 10 reasons why pastors do not teach the truth about tithing. This is the time of the year where you got to be very careful, beloved. You have to understand it is a false doctrine. And many people who have been brainwashed by this false doctrine, they are fearful and fretful. But I want you to go back, if you need to, to my older videos so you can get understanding. But today I want to pinpoint 10 reasons why pastors will not tell the truth. Number one, they cannot build their churches without using this false doctrine. Let's face it, you have a lot of young preachers who are coveting what they see with other ministries, especially buildings, literal buildings. Number two, they cannot ma maintain material possessions and obtain more unless they continue to teach the false dogma and doctrine of tithing. Number three, they covet other seemingly successful ministries. And listen, they desire to use the law of Moses to receive it. They are going to continue to use this Old Testament ceremonial law because like number two, they want what they see covetousness. Number four, they have been taught by other men in seminary and refuse to develop a personal relationship with the Holy Spirit, who is the real teacher. And if you try to bypass intimacy with God, without intimacy, you cannot see. Let's say that again. Without real intimacy, you cannot see. Number five, they refuse to believe in the dispensation of the Holy Spirit that is here to glorify Jesus, not the law of Moses. Not the law of Moses, my friend. He's here to glorify Jesus Christ, who, who told us that the new covenant was in his shed blood. Number six, they have been deceived and they do not want to know the truth. Let's face it, friend. We had here in my city, it went into the local news of a pastor who was paying $10,000 a month for him and his wife's mortgage. They were both, quote, pastors of a local church. $10,000 a month for a house? And you and you think you think that man or woman going to hear the truth about tithing? Hmm. Number seven, they refuse to repent from selfish ambition. See, selfish ambition, many people are using this doctrine because they are very charismatic and they are very ambitious. So they wrap all of their charisma around this false doctrine, get them a good keyboard player and a couple of praise teamers. That's right. Get the praise team on it. Get some serious entertainment going on. I got you. Huh, I got you, because I'm about to get it, and I'm going to get it through that doctrine. Mm -hmm. number, number seven, number eight, they are not real pastors, rather businessmen, simply using the Bible as their product. That's right, they're just using the Bible, friend. And if you don't have that intimacy, you can't see. You got to stay with God. You have to be hungry. You got to stay in the scriptures. Listen, friends, this is how the Lord Jesus broke me free from this doctrine. I was a, a regular tither. I am a giver. The charity work that I am doing through Handmade Souls for Hope, it is an expression of my God-given gift. I am a giver. And, and I couldn't do it, friends, if I was constantly, look, you, you, you following after all of this here, friend, you can't get nothing done he tell you to do. You, you, listen, you have to understand, God cannot reveal anything if you're not willing to sit yourself still. All right, that's enough said right there. Number nine, they are addicted to the praises of men. When you are addicted to people praising you, listen, friend, when a person is, is addicted to that, you, you will not tell the truth. You will not adhere to the truth because you need men to praise you. You need them to like you. Listen, you can't be in ministry if you, if you are addicted to the praises of people. Mm -mm. You're going to be destroyed, friend. Oh, yes and yes. Last but not least, they have never been born of the Spirit of God. They are intellectuals. And this is why 
it's easy for them to be brainwashed and to brainwash others because they are not yet spiritual. They have not yet had a real awakening of the Holy Spirit, whereby Jesus, when he asked his disciples, who do men say that I am? Peter said, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God, which tells us, because Jesus said, Jesus said, flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my father in heaven. Friends, some things you ain't gonna get till you really get with Jesus, till you're really sincere. You will be continually bombarded with this false doctrine. You will be in distress, because let's face it, it's so many people fearful about this doctrine. It has nothing to do with salvation. It has nothing to do with living holy, because friend, when you love God, you automatically become a giver. How can you love God and be a stingy, uh, just, just close, mm-mm. Mm -mm, you can't meet the ultimate giver and you are not a giver. This is why you don't need anybody in your pockets. You don't need anybody in your wallet using the law of Moses, beating you upside your head, telling you you going, you going to be under a curse and all this foolishness. Friend, listen, you got this. If you need more clarity about this false doctrine, I do have an exhaustive teaching uh, in my playlist, and also I have a free book. In fact, let me go get it. Let me show you this book. These are my books that will help you. This is the false uh, um, doctrine of tithing, how to identify my friend. This is how you can get understanding. This is a free download on my website, and so is 33 Signs of a Corrupt Preacher. These are free downloads on my ministry website. Let me put this up. The light, the glare is getting on, on the book. But this is a free download. It's free, friend. So if you need understanding, just go to the website. Study all of the scriptures. I give you line upon line. This is exhaustive. There, listen, a 10-year-old could catch that this is a false doctrine if you give it to them right. It's right in here. Go get it. It's free. And if you would like a hard copy of the book, we ask that you just email me and I will send you a hard copy if you donate to pay for the, the, the book printing and for me to send it to you. But we ask that you just get it for free. It's a free download, friend. So God bless you. Know the 10 reasons why pastors do not teach the truth. And if you are in a, a, a church quote group, that is teaching that God demands that you pay 10% of your income, you are in a false church. And yes, they are everywhere. And how do we answer the question? How is a church supposed to take care of the bills? Free will offerings. It's not complicated, friends. If you're teaching and, and edifying and people are being lifted and challenged in their faith, they're gonna give. All you have to do is tell them what you need, but don't try to lie on God. Don't, don't, don't do it. Don't be a liar. Don't, don't lie. And many of them, they lying. So God bless friends. Enough said till next time. Never give up, never quit and walk in it out. Be diligent. Study to show yourself approved in the scriptures of God for yourself. All right. God bless friend. Till next time.